Hey Crafters, it's Julie Creek from Creek Bank Creations. I'm here to share with you today the Angel Side Circle card. This is a base shape card that I designed. It fits in an A2 envelope. So it's kind of has a unique feature and then it has this circle that tabs open and then you can put your greeting inside of it. It does fit in an A2 card. So what's great about it is you can use this die by itself with products that you already use at home, or you can team it up with the companion products that I've designed. So um, three dies to go with this, the happy birthday circle. And if you look at these dies, you'll notice you have an exterior die and an interior die. All of them come with multiple designs in them. Happy birthday, Merry Christmas, and it has the jingle bell and the bow together. And then happy Thanksgiving, and uh, we added a pie there for you, and you can have a lot of fun with the pie. We've had a lot of requests for um, Happy Thanksgiving from our customers, so that's a fun one. Then we have three stamp sets that you can also get to go with this that accent. I designed these stamps to be fairly simple so that you can um, stamp them and watercolor them and have a pretty quick card because I think um, a lot of times... We can get too complex, and if you're doing a lot of cards, especially for Christmas, this is a simple design. It has a sentiment on it, as well as this, the, uh, the images, so that's a fun one. This is called Miracle of Christmas. This is Balloon Birthday. Large image to fit right in that circle panel. Includes some text and a fun cupcake. And then Happy Thanksgiving is our pie stamp. This has been very well received. Customers are very happy with it show you this sample here where we've done the pie and the pie fits right inside the bezel of the happy thanksgiving die so it says give thanks and eat pie it is the season for pie life is short eat pie so lots of fun all of these pieces can be used by themselves or you can team them up like we did and put them all together so um this is called angel side circle mm -hmm. i will show you some examples that we have you saw the happy birthday. This is our uh, Merry Christmas with the bells. And uh, we have some pattern paper over here, stamp sentiment on the inside. Here's a Thanksgiving pie, tis the season for pie. This has the die pad on the front and then the Thanksgiving text on the inside. We are using here our six by six paper pad, which is the autumn collection. It's a great one. It also has burlap pattern paper in it. There's your Happy Thanksgiving. And you'll notice here I stenciled on the inside and stenciled on the uh, outside and left room for the sentiment. That's a great little technique and I like it because it leaves that design out here on the outer corner. Fun little project. Um, here's the very simple watercolor of Mary and Joseph, Merry Christmas, and I've used the star swish template that we have, brand new template, um, which came out last week on the website, Star Swish. And then um, this is my farmhouse style card with our wreath. I added the wreath die from our collection here. It is not a part of this set, but it does fit in the bezel. And then that's our striped stencil with glitter covering it. This glitter technique can be found on a Facebook Live video that I did about two weeks ago. So if you look that up, you'll see that. This is um, our snowflake die on top of the snowflake squirrel stamp. Just makes a really nice presentation. So the question is, how does this die work? Now, um, whenever I store my dies, I like to store my dies all together in this envelope. We have the envelope that we sell, and you can also buy the magnetic board to go with it. So when I store mine, this is how I store my set. I store it all together. And then when I need it, I can get into it. So I've got my stamp sets in there, and I've got my die sets in there. When you look at the basic die set, this is what you're buying right here, the angel side circle. I've got these other pieces on here, but you're buying these pieces. So this is that base piece that you're going to die cut that is included in that set is the stitch circle that fits in the frame exactly and then you have this stitch rectangle this stitch rectangle is the piece that we're using for the side panel that goes right here so this die has three pieces this large base the circle for the mat here and the panel 
the side panel. So the question is, how do you make this card? So um, instructions are actually on the front of the package, but I've had a lot of people ask me how to actually do it. So we're going to actually make one today. Now we're going to start with a piece of um, cardstock and you need to know that this die is long and it does require the extended cutting platform for it. it you could use the short platform, but if you do, you're going to have to adjust it. So I do recommend that you get the long platform. Now we're going to cut a piece of paper 4.25 inches wide and 9 inches long. So we're going to pull out that arm and we're going to cut it 9 inches. That is our base piece of paper. Then we're going to take that piece of paper and we're going to put the long side of it up on our scoreboard and we're going to score at 3.5 if we can get our score tool out. There we go. We're going to score at 3.5. Okay. And then we're going to fold. That's going to give us the base card that we need. Fold our paper in. There's the base that you need to create yourself. So you can decide what color do I want that base to be and how do I want to accent it. Then you're going to add in that odd circle shape, which in this case is white. And you'll see that I designed this so that it fits in that space perfectly and you get that matte so it looks like it's matted. Fold that in. Okay. Now, you have your flap, that, that there's that, that basic flap. If I wanted to add the circle and, and do some circle thing with it, I could do that. We do have circle stamps from uh, the circle flip card that would match this. Um, but you can die cut however you want to accent it. And then you have what's left in there is that stitch rectangle piece. And that piece is designed to fit right in that panel. And you can see how you have that nice card and you can decorate it however you want to do that. So that is how the base construction is actually made. And um, you can have lots of fun with how you put that card together. I did want to share with you a little tip about the um, circle frame die. This is the circle frame die that comes with the set. And you'll see it's got all that text. Let's cut a Christmas one. It's got all that text on it. And so the question becomes, how do you die cut that and um, get it to adhere to your paper? And I want to show you how I do that. So we have our die, and I'm going to use some foil paper, and I'm going to die cut it. So what I'm going to do is turn my paper over, and I'm going to take our super tacky tape. This is our Creek Bank Creation super tacky tape. This comes in a three inch roll or a six inch roll and I want to put my paper in it so I have the pattern side or the shiny side up and then I'm going to take my scissors and trim it out. Now when I trim it out, I leave a little bit of an edge on there. I don't want any adhesive showing on this edge. And then we're going to trim that out. We don't want any extra adhesive edges hanging off of our paper. Whenever I, um, when I do this, I always do a full sheet of paper and then I store it all in an envelope storage pocket right behind my desk so that um, I have it whenever I want to use it. So I'm going to put my die on there and see I have a little spot here in the R that needs cleaned out. We always want to make sure we have those little spaces cleaned out before we die cut. So we're going to put that face down and run it through our die cut machine. It's going to come out looking like that. I'm going to pull that out and you will find you have your nice circle there in your space and we wanted to get to that Merry Christmas text. So we're going to use our pick tool and um, I always use my pick, my pick tool from Sizzix to do this. Pull that out of the die and then you'll want to be sure to clean up the extra stuff that got left in the die, but clean that out. Now what we want to do 
is add that to the base of our card. And we want it to be aligned properly the way we want it aligned. I do have a little spot in my edge. Let's get rid of that. Make sure we're all cleaned up. Okay, so we're all cleaned up. So we're going to put that on here. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to turn this over and pick off the relief liner. Now we have that super sticky die cut. So we're going to grab our undo, undo adhesive remover. And I will tell you, we do not sell this on our website because we are not allowed to ship it from the postal service. So you can pick it up from us at a show um, or at our retreat house, but we do not ship it online. There are other online sellers who do sell it but we are not allowed to sell it. So I'm going to get that wet with undo. What's going to happen is, as long as this is wet, I'm going to be able to move this die cut around, and I can place it anywhere I want to place it. Now, you can look at this and you're like, oh, well, Julie, that's not even sticky. And you're right, it's not. That's because I need to let that undo evaporate. And undo is going to evaporate in about a minute and when it does I'm going to have permanent adhesion so it's already starting to stick and if I want to speed up that process I can just fan that in the air now undo is acid free and photo safe I do not have to worry about it damaging my background I can even dump the undo on if I had inked that background and then I wanted to dump undo on it and then put it put, put a title on I can do that. That's what I'm doing there. So do you, you can already see that my shape is starting to dry and can get it where I want. If I don't like where I have it and I'm like, oh, well, I thought it was straight, but it's not. I can take my undo, get that wet, move it around again and get it to sit exactly where I want it. When I have my card the way I want it, I can fold that up and that piece can sit right inside my card. Isn't that a great little tip? That just makes life easier for your crafting. So that is the um, angel side circle and it's three piece die set and we're excited about it because I think you can do a lot with it. You can add other things to it. We do have um, a special right now that we're running until October the 1st. If you buy the pieces online, let me get back to those. Um, you can buy, we have, the special is, you can buy the dies, which is, um, though that would be four dies, the base die and the three accent dies. Regular price would be $52, and then you would have to pay freight and we're offering it until the end of the month, which is September the 31st, for $42, and we'll ship it for free. So you're basically getting one die free, and we're going to ship it to you for free. Our stamp bundle that you'll find on our website is um, normally this package would cost you $40 plus free. If you want all three of the stamps, you can save $5. We'll sell these three sets to you online until September the 31st for $35, and your freight is free. So um, it's you can bundle, you can not bundle. Either way is fine with us. I will be uploading the pictures of the products on our uh, Pinterest page. So if you'd like to look at our Pinterest page, you can find inspiration. If you have products that are cards that you've made with the angel side circle die and you'd like to share those with us, we would love to upload those pictures to the Pinterest page so you can email us and uh, we'll be happy to try to upload those. You can uh, find our products online at www.creepbankcreations.com.